the angels joyfully acknowledged the supremacy of Christ and prostrating themselves before him poured out their love and adoration. Lucifer bowed with them, but in his heart there was a strange, fierce conflict. Truth, justice, and loyalty were struggling against envy and jealousy. The influence of the holy angels seemed for a time to carry Lucifer with them. As songs of praise ascended in melodious strains, swelled by thousands of glad voices, the spirit of evil seemed vanquished. Unutterable love thrilled his entire being. His soul went out in harmony with the sinless worshipers, in love to the Father and to the Son. But again, he was filled with pride in his own glory. His desire for, 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 his desire for supremacy returned, and envy of Christ was once more indulged. Why, questioned this mighty angel, should Christ have the supremacy? Why is he honored above Lucifer? Now, brothers and sisters, notice. Notice something. He went to church and heard the Father preach. Heard the Father preach Christ with such power that all the angels bowed down and he bowed down too. And though there was a war, he left church converted. He left church converted. That's what... Listen, listen, brothers and sisters, it, 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 says, it, it says very clearly, Lucifer bowed with them, but, his heart, but in his heart there was a strange, fierce conflict. Truth, justice, and loyalty were struggling against envy and jealousy. The influence of the holy angels seemed for a time to carry him with them. As songs of praise ascended in melodious strains swelled by thousands of glad voices, the spirit of evil seemed vanquished. Unutterable love thrilled Lucifer's entire being. His soul went out in harmony with the sinless worshipers. It looked like it was gone. And see, 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 and that's what, nothing's new under the sun. You, you see, brothers and sisters, you cannot have the secured victory that is necessary based on a corporate experience. You can get in a position where you are on vantage ground in a corporate setting, but unless you hold fast that which you have, somebody will take your crown, not because they have to steal it, but because you leave it behind. God's trying to save you, and you leave here all haphazardly. You're not paying attention, and Lucifer didn't pay attention. He heard the father preach a sermon on Christ. It was powerful. It invoked the most beautiful music. Spontaneous singing. They started singing, brothers and sisters, and praising God from whom all blessings flow. And he went out. Instead of going privately and consulting with God, he went privately and tried to let the church experience carry him when only a personal experience would carry you. There's no guarantees that this is not the final, final time God will speak.